Okay, exterior of 160 East Pleasant Run Parkway. <clears throat> this may not be the original siding that's on here, but it's certainly pretty close to it. It's in uh, decent condition. Well, we've got a couple of issues with gutters around on this side. You can see a breach that's right here, and I'm gonna guess because of the trees and everything, they're probably fairly uh, filled, but not too bad. What I wanted to look at was, if you recall from the basement, the foam that was on the wall, um, my question was, um, that's usually done to help prevent uh, water or other type of moisture getting in there. Um, so I wanted to see if I could see anything. You know, it's possible that because of the concrete that goes all the way around, that the drainage is a little bit compromised. And so that's why they put that foam up there to help divert the water off. But really not too bad uh, from what I'm seeing. Nothing is too big of a concern. They've got the... Um, They've got the drains that go away from the house on the gutters here. So it really looks pretty decent. I, I think maybe, again, because of the concrete, that there was a potential of some moisture getting in there. Um, and that's why that foam is there. But um, again, because it's dry down there, I think that, that if there was an issue, um, it's been taken care of for sure. But from what I'm seeing here, I don't really see any concerns structurally. We've got a small a little backyard back here and then a one car garage. But structurally the house looks pretty good. Not too bad. And then if we take a look at the uh, roof over here, I know it's probably hard to see because of the uh, sun and everything. <clears throat> the roof actually looks to be in good condition. I don't see too many, um, actually I don't really see any shingles that are curling up on this one. So it could be a fairly new roof. Um, there's a little bit of movement in it, but um, a little waviness, but that would be expected at a house of this age. So let us know what you think. Thanks.